feel violated right now. Harry, who apparently wanted to know what a Bieber butt felt like. Things on blast, you know. You want to say it again? You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you, like, bro. Oh, you have good lips. Thank oh, you. We're fine. Yeah, serious. I want a protector, you know. I don't want her to go through anything I want. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. You my number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 555. Five, five. Yes. Justin Bieber has finally exposed the shocking truth about grooming in Hollywood. And boy, is it a mouthful. It seems like, from Diddy and Will Smith to Clive Davis, there is a network of Hollywood top guns that habitually groom young artists in the name of mentorship. The worst part is no one seems to be doing anything about it. According to Justin, the industry actively tries to protect these groomers because of how powerful they are. Not him, though. He has had enough and is not afraid to call out the BS. So, what does Justin Bieber have to say about grooming in Hollywood? And who exactly are the perpetrators of abuse and exploitation of children in Hollywood? Let's find out. It's hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so, if she ever needs me, I'm going to be here for her, but... Um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters and um I just want to protect her. Justin Bieber is breaking his silence about his experiences in Hollywood and how the industry is filled with corrupt individuals who love to groom children. One individual in particular who has allegedly taken part in grooming Justin Bieber and other young artists is, of course, Diddy. In the past couple of weeks, Diddy has been slammed with a number of lawsuits accusing him of S.A., sparking a chain reaction that has encouraged more of his victims to speak up. This includes all the men and young boys that Diddy has allegedly groomed through his years in the industry, especially Justin Bieber and Usher. Rumors of Diddy being gay have been rampant since the 1990s, but his closet sexuality, or lack thereof, is not the main issue. The issue is that he allegedly uses his power and proximity to young men and boys to abuse, exploit, and take advantage of them. Take Usher, for example. Usher was already a budding star from age 10 when he joined the R&B group New Beginnings. By age 13, Usher met L.A. Reid, the co-founder of Layface Records, who signed him on the spot after hearing him perform. While Usher was preparing for his debut album, he lost his voice and could not record. So L.A. Reid, who will come to his story later, started doubting Usher and he even wanted to drop him from the label. But Usher really wanted to remain on the contract and record his album. Album. So, in the spring of 1994, L.A. Reid decided to send Usher to Diddy's house for what he called a puffy flavor camp, which was just a period of Usher being exposed to a lifestyle way too explicit for his age. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Usher described that period as one of his hardest days, where he was exposed to an adult lifestyle. He also claimed he witnessed some wild things, like randomly opening a door and seeing people going at it. 
Sometimes multiple people at once having an orgy. Mind you, Usher was 14 years old then and Diddy was 23. The age difference alone sparked controversy, but it wasn't until Usher went on The Howard Stern Show that he revealed that the situation was probably much worse than we might have expected. Among other things, Usher talked about the wild parties Diddy used to host, which created a toxic environment for a 14-year-old boy was like just filled with chicks and orging like non-stop right no nah, not really i Come mean on. but did I, hey it was curious i got a chance to see some things yeah but you were 13 what were you I seeing i went there to see the lifestyle right and, and i saw it and it was and it was <laughs> but i don't know if i could indulge and understand what i was even looking at it was it was pretty wild it was, so nobody it was tried to you know some woman didn't come along i didn't and, say that okay I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what i did say is that there were very curious things taking place uh-huh and i didn't necessarily understand it uh-huh biggie smalls was biggie there biggie smalls was there lil kim craig mack all know, these people all are hanging these, around all, yeah man faith evans Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige, they ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time, you know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. And, I, and, what kind, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? Hell no. (laughs) Also, Diddy allegedly paid Usher to stay with him, which is weird because why are you paying a child to live with you? The fact that Usher responded with a resounding, hell no, when Howard asked if he would let his kids go to a puffy flavor camp tells you everything you need to know. Diddy himself has been seen making weird comments about Usher living with him. In a recently surfaced conversation between Diddy and Kevin Hart, Diddy talks about how 10-year-old Usher used to sleep in his bed and fight over Frosted Flakes. Given Diddy's track record, it makes you wonder if Usher was safe back then. I mean, why is there even a 10-year-old sleeping in your bed when you're like 19? However, Diddy having young boys sleep over at his house did not end with Usher. Justin Bieber allegedly had the same experience in 2009 when he spent 48 hours at Diddy's house to show Diddy the songs he had produced. And how old was Justin at that time? 15. Meanwhile, Diddy was 40 years old with kids. During the 48 hours Justin spent with Diddy, Diddy showed him a swanky Lambo, promising he would give it to him when he turned 16. He also promised Justin a mansion once he turned 18. Of course, he said all this as a little jokey joke, but joke or not, why would you, as an adult, promise a teenager such extravagant gifts? It's like Grooming 101. Promise the victim extravagant gifts to keep them hooked and trust you. It's weird enough that a 40-year-old and a 15-year-old are hanging out in whatever capacity. But when you add promising a kid gifts like that, it seems way too creepy. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even creepier is this interaction Diddy and Justin had on camera, where Diddy is asking Justin why he never calls or tries to hang out with him. Justin looks so uncomfortable the whole time, but Diddy never even noticed. It just shows that Justin wouldn't have felt comfortable hanging out with Diddy for a whopping 48 hours. Fans believe the reason why Justin's mental health took a downward spiral and he started relying heavily on drugs is the abuse he suffered at the hands of Diddy under the guise of mentorship, as well as how harshly the media went at him for decades. Speaking up about his experiences made people more sympathetic to his plight and the plight of many other kids in entertainment who cannot speak up. One fan commented, Justin Bieber was constantly preyed upon and harassed and exploited since he was a minor, and no one found it wrong. If this is what people did to him in front of cameras, 
Imagine what he was put through behind closed doors. Justin Bieber has been nothing but exploited, sexualized, and ridiculed by the media from the time he was 14, and people didn't see a problem with this because he was a boy. However, as bad as Diddy was, sources believe he was not always like that. Diddy was allegedly groomed by his mentors, Clive Davis and Andre Harrell. Clive Davis is one of the most influential music executives in Hollywood, who signed major artists like Whitney Houston, Notorious B.I.G., and Kelly Clarkson. Diddy was initially an employee of Andre Harrell's Uptown Records.